What's going on guys, Luke again, back with another SBC video. So in this video, this is actually the current... Well, as this video goes up, I'm not sure if it is the current, but it's the last marquee matchups anyway. And uh, as you can see, we're just showing a load of players that sold. We got around 11k for that David Silva and uh, everything else we're just going to discard because we need to make some coins up. Um... So yeah, basically we have to make some coins up to do this new SBC, which as you can see, I'm just discarding all these players. The market was completely, well not even the market, it's just the, the whole server was just really, really laggy. And um, I think a lot of that has, the like a lot of that is to do with the EA access because FIFA 17 is actually now in the vault. So it's available, everyone who's got EA access can now play FIFA for free. Um, you don't actually have to pay for it anymore. So a lot of people, be, a lot of new people will be coming onto the game, which means there's going to be more people on the servers and the servers can't even handle the people that were playing before EA Access. The servers are always messed up and for a massive company like EA, I don't know how they get away with it half of the time. Um, like you can follow them on Twitter, Facebook and everything. The servers will go down and none, no one will tweet about it. Like no one will tell anyone what's going on. Um, it's a bit of a joke to be honest. But anyway, as you can see, just discarding a lot of the silver players that we listed up a couple of times times um the sporting player and the villa player are from this marquee matchups but the squad that as well i've already made the squads that i was going to do in the cheapest ones um so i just listed those two up because i did leave him in my club but anyways you can see i'm just discarding a load of coin like a load of uh items here i do still have some uh, some stuff in my club which I believe I list up as well which you will see in just a sec uh, actually no I don't think I show that bit but I did list up some players and uh, some consumables and stuff from the club and you, yeah so you can see I'm just discarding a lot of these players here that that um, is it, was it no it wasn't Hernani what was his name I can't remember his name but I'm sure he was from the Portuguese league so he might have been worth something um, looking back at it now but anyways you can see we're going to have around 52 53k and uh, yeah so you can see there around 52 and a half k but as you can see when we come back we've only got 26k and we've gone and done one of the SBCs. So as you can see, we're going to go into the marquee matchups. And the first one we did was actually Real Madrid versus Barcelona. This was by far the most expensive. Actually, no, it wasn't the most expensive, sorry. But you'll see all the players that I did buy. Uh, we have Rulli there. We have Vasquez. We have Benat. We have San Jose, Kovacic, Thiago, Siquera, Alcazar, and uh, Denis Suarez. And uh, that right back there. And I was actually missing a player, which I didn't notice until the end of this clip, as you will see. But no position changes again. And as you can see, uh, obviously, I don't know if I said, but you actually get a team of the week player from this pack. And uh, yeah, if we could get a walkout, that would be absolutely amazing. But anyway, as you can see... Um we're putting in the t like the players now. San Jose is going at centre back. Uh, Bernard at centre mid. Vasquez doesn't need a position change. He's just getting chucked at right wing. Rulli as well. We're on 87 chem, and uh, we actually need to go and buy one more player who we did for around four five hundred coins. And it was this Argentinian centre back Dos Santos. And as you can see, that is enough there. As you can see, 1.3k for Rulli. 400 coins. 950, 550, 750, 3.2k, 1.2k, 1.6k, 3.2, 6.5, 6.5. The Barca players were by far the most expensive, but we do get a jumbo premium goal pack for this SBC. And then, as you can see, we're going to go and do the Aston Villa versus Birmingham now, I believe. Or is it the Sporting one we do first? Yeah, the Sporting uh, and Benfica one we do first. Because this was the cheapest one, and what I wanted to do was I wanted to do this one as well as the Barca one, open the packs if I needed to, to do the last one, well, the last two, should I say. Um, but you can see some of the players here. This one was a little bit cheaper. Um, we do actually get a few players that we got from the first SBC that we did. But anyway, Hernandez, Babin, is it Navarro at left back as well? Charles at left striker, um, this CDM. Uh, Salvio at right mid. We also play is it Gelson Martinez at right back, even though he's a right mid. Um, but he still gets the chemistry we need. Uh, and he fits the requirements. And as you can see there, uh, we need to get a left mid who we go and get now. Uh, just a random non rare guy who cost me like 500 coins, I believe. Or it might have been like 700, I'm not too sure. He wasn't that expensive anyway. 1.3k, 1.1, 400, 400, 450, 900, 400, 1.3, 500, 850, and 500. So that was a bit pretty cheap one um and you get a 15k pack for doing it so even if you wanted to just do that one it only costs like five six k maybe actually maybe a little bit more maybe like seven or eight but um yeah this one was still cheap 
but if you was going to do just one I wouldn't do this one because you only get a silver pack and uh, yeah the only reason I did this one was because obviously you need to do all four to get the uh, the team of the week pack which you will see at the end of this video um, but anyways you can see there we could pay 750 200 600 600 1k 750 650 800 650 3.5k and 600 I could have got Danny Graham I could have got a replacement for him, but I just wanted to get this one out of the way, so I ended up paying a little bit more than I should have done. Um, but I could have got a different player anyway. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, we're on around 7k now, and we need to go and open these packs. To try and put together some more coins and uh, as you can see from the silver pack we do indeed get Penner who unfortunately doesn't sell for that much but he's got a solid card and uh, yeah I was, I was talking about this the other day on Twitter if you didn't see. Um, silvers and bronzes are pretty much useless on this game like they're good to trade with but it's very very select few people that actually use silver and bronzes like... EA need to bring in like either a silver and bronze divisions or silver and bronze foot champs or just something like that. Something to make the game a little bit more fun for the people that use bronze and silver cards because you can just go into a online single match with a full bronze team and you can just come up against the full gold team. It's an absolute joke. But anyways, you can see we get Neto there in that one. Uh, we also get a couple of Spanish and Italian players and a Celtic keeper. The squad fitness is we can sell for around 1.1, 1.2K. And uh, yeah, so I send all that stuff to the trade pile and you'll see that I have to wait like an hour. Well, some of the stuff I have to wait an hour for, some of it I don't. Um, and this second Jumbo Premium Goal Pack, as you can see, it's not a walkout. It's not even a big flare, but it is actually, uh, is it Car Caraco, Carico? I don't know, from Sevilla. No, is that Sevilla? Yeah, Sevilla. Uh, we also get Walcott and Semedo. Um, so they're pretty decent pulls. I mean, we can sell them on because they're in the current SBC as, as Walcott's just a bit expensive. Anyways, like 1.4K. Um, but then as you can see, when we come back, this is the last team that we had to do, the Ajax one. Now, this one cost the most. As you can see, 4.9, 4.9, 4.9. 750 6.8 750 5.11 1k 3k that was this was a very very expensive sbc i think altogether it cost me around 55k uh, which was a massive risk because the team of the week player we need to get someone good uh, we need to get someone more than that and you're going to see the pack now and now i was going to do this live but i had uh, people in the house so i didn't decide i decided not to and um, but you will see who i get in the uh team of the week player pack in just a second we open this electron players pack we don't get anything too great uh, we get alexander pato i mean we can sell him on for like a k maybe maybe a little bit less um but we also get um lsu who's from sport uh, in from benfica so he could be used in the sbc we also get an eredivisie player there team of the week pack you can see i click it it's a walkout. Now, this is going to be a big, big pack. I was thinking Carrasco, uh, but you'll see when the flag drops, it is indeed German. Then goalkeeper, and it is Leno. So Leno, we can sell for around 63,000 coins. So that's like 13K profit after the SBC. So this puts us in a really, really good position. Um, as I'm recording this, the team of the knockout tournament has actually come out um, where you get a guaranteed team of the tournament player, the new ones. We've chance at record breaker Ronaldo um, I don't think I'm going to do that SBC because it seems way too risky to do it because you need like a team of the tournament uh, previous card you need uh, informs so it's very very risky to do but that's going to be the end of this video guys hopefully you did enjoy if you did drop the video a like subscribe if you haven't already I'll see you on the next video peace